for almost any character versus fast followers, right? But Mewtwo especially can blow yep. up stocks and yep. also has good edge guards. The tail moves like back air and up oh, yeah. air just have enormous, a lot of range. Enormous hitboxes. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the Mewtwo come out, but this is kind of like an old school versus new school match right here. I and, love it, uh, and we're getting a Fox Ditto, so gonna gonna have some high octane melee ready for you on Yoshi Story too. Oh, yeah, I feel like I have seen this several times now, where Foxes will strike to Yoshi Story, and I don't know if I were a Fox player, I don't know if I'd have the 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 chutzpah to take a Fox to Yoshi Story. <laughs> sure, I, I feel like I would just be so scared. Yeah. My socks could just be deleted. I appreciate the use of Yiddish terminology, man. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's the only word that quite catches the vibe of what I'm trying to explain. I was gonna say cojones. <laughs> <laughs> that also works. Yeah. Uh, I'm Cuban, so I appreciate that. Sure, sure, yeah. <laughs> so nice little slide off there. I I love that that tech and. All of a sudden, uh, is Zidane the green fox or the, the neutral fox here? I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. It's tough to tell sometimes. But off to an early lead here, the green fox is going to have to try an amount of comeback here. And up throw back here will certainly set up for a winning strategy. And there goes the stock. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, they're falling up. Uh, when Fox's combo with Falling Upper, that's one of my favorite things to witness like in the game point blank period. I think it's one of the, the coolest things. I agree. It's uh, I think a lot of those tech chases can be really cool. That up smash was definitely choice. And now all of a sudden, after a being a significant two stock lead, it is right back to even. And as I said, it is a volatile matchup on this stage when oh, you yeah. have two Foxes going at it. So it is, it's scary and things can swing so violently. Yeah, you would think that considering it's a mirror match, it wouldn't be as, you know, as volatile as it is. But the fact that at any point you can just mess up your tech skill or and your opponent can just easily punish and just doink you with a shine, you're just... It's over, you know? <laughs> it's one of those things, I, I would joke about it against uh, in the Falco. Oh, the back air was so good, uh, uh, covered the, the ledge option, and then... Able to close that out, 55%, that's super, super low, and right down to the last stock, both of them, we'll see who's going to get it. Green Fox, Neutral Fox. <laughs> Love the use of downer. Ooh, oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful shine. Got that perfect timing. I, I guess that would be like the Armada shine, the timing where the hitbox is not there. Yeah, yeah. I, I get confused about it all the time, and you know what? I, I don't want to be specific. That was a dope shine. <laughs> he hit the, on stage, he hit the top hitbox of the shine that sends downwards, mm -hmm. and then jumped up and hit it again. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, it's a uh, you know it's something that I would joke about in the Falco Ditto, where a Falco Ditto is 70-70 for Falco, right? It's not a 50-50 matchup. It's sure, 70 sure. for, for yeah, both players. Yeah, yeah. It's like both of them just kind of blow each other up, right? And I feel like that is the case. Certainly in Fox Ditto's on a stage like Yoshi's. This stage maybe a little bit less so. There's certainly some really hard punishes and really early percent, uh, like low percent kills that you can get, which will certainly swing the matchup quickly. But certainly got a lot more space and a lot more uh, opportunity to maybe mess up and still be in the game, right? Oh yeah. I, well, so it's looking like Gaster is, is the neutral Fox. Oh. Nice. Doinked. Yeah, the, the legend invincibility, <laughs> using the legend invincibility to get that shine is such a important strategy uh, in the game. Uh, legend invincibility in general is just one of the strongest things that you can use in this game. It's kind of crazy to think that in most games, being stuck in the corner is really bad, and for a character like Fox, being cornered is actually a great position to be in because you can ledge dash. <laughs> Yeah, if you have the the good, if you've got a good ledge dash, you know. That is true. You do have to like live the, like on like the razor's edge, right? The world is your oyster, or you're just like you're a rat in a cage, as with, the song says. With great power comes great responsibility, yeah. right? I'm reminded of a very funny hat I saw walking through the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if I miss this ledge dash, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am aware. Yeah, yeah, it's a vibe. To, shout out to the Smasher Magazine for making some of the dopest hats in the business. Uh oh. Got stuck on the platform with Shine. I think they may have wanted to come back down with it.
the back. Oh. oh, I love that down smash. Yeah. Fox's down smash doesn't have that crazy invincibility property that Falco's does, but it's still really good. It's a great disjoint hitbox. It's strong in that type of situation. Not as strong as Falco's, but certainly strong enough, as we saw there. It'll get the job done for you. Brutal angle, too, is the other thing, right? <laughs> I don't know what that wonky movement tech the was reverse the forward forward. Yeah, <laughs> It looked sick. It was very cool. When players can combo with the uh, forward, uh, forward air, that's always very impressive to me. I think it's so aesthetically pleasing as well. It's always fun to watch, right? Because it is a move that doesn't come up very often. But forward air is just a good move. That, it's got utility. It is definitely something worth practicing with, right? Yeah. I think it's more of a Falco thing, though, when Spacey's combo with the forward air. I see Falco's doing it more than Foxes do. Yeah, I feel like maybe in this specific matchup, you see uh -oh. it a lot more. You, you had it. You just let him get back on. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and he, and he hit the taunt on him. Yeah, the, the last frame taunt at the end there. And now we're 1-1 uh, one, one. One here. Yeah. Zidane looking pretty clean there. Three stock on, on Dreamland. That first match was pretty close. Maybe that volatility played against him uh, yeah. a little bit on Yoshi's. Give him the room to run around, though, and it's like that was the Zidane show. Yeah. Got a lot of lasers going back and forth. Oh, that, that forward smash was such a smart idea. Thankfully, the other Fox was able to yeah. jump backward a little bit and avoid that altogether. Smart options on both sides. I love those kind of interactions where, oh, I don't love those interactions. Yeah. You hate to see it. <laughs> Unfortunate, but this is certainly very, very doable. The transformations can certainly uh, affect the matchup pretty tremendously here. I love that down tilt. It's such a uh, such a, a big like hitbox. It's such a good uh, poking tool, right? Oh, absolutely. Now I'm curious as to. It's been a while since I've seen this match played on uh, transformations on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I like there's a real chance that Zidane, being the old school player that he is, is just like way more adaptable in case of a. Uh, a more wonky transformation, like Absolutely. Rock, for example. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, back when we had a bunch of stages that were legal, I I was always a hater, right? I never liked Ringstar. I never liked uh, Rainbow Cruise or anything like that. I don't play Melee on Ranked on April 1st. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never catch me playing on Ranked on April 1st. I never want to see those stages again. Yeah. I think April 1st is great. I think April 1st is, is so uh -oh. cool. Pit, pit, Ooh. pit. <laughs> yeah, pit fight, pit fight. Almost. Oh, we were going so crazy in the crowd for tipped off trying to get trying to get these players to fight in the pit is this okay. such like bad influence right yeah. <laughs> slug it out the pit <laughs> it's like bad idea for both of you please do it <laughs> yeah, but it's great for the viewers <laughs> oh so good for the culture okay shield poke two stock to two stock very even percent here I think for sure, though, someone like uh, Zidane that has experience on some of the other stages, even if you're like me and you're a total hater, you had to play on them, and certainly that experience could come into play here. Okay. Oh, misses punish. That was almost huge. But Ooh, that little dash dance to bait out the shine and get a grab off. Yeah, up, up smash, not quite enough. But up it. Oh, barely. I didn't think he had it for a bit, but yeah, he barely got it. So it almost like it took a little like half second longer to travel the rest of the distance of the blast zone. Oh, that was such good DI down for like otherwise you're just so many players just get shined there. Gaster with the awareness to not get owned. Yeah, exactly. Took in a lot of extra credit here and every little percent here that Zidane gets that Zidane is not. Losing the stock here on oh, really good uh, okay. shine back air from ledge, and now we're down to last stock apiece. Today looking in a pretty good position, Ooh. but it could easily go either way. The wall jump off the tree while invincible. That was pretty neat, pretty cool. Ooh, okay. Double jump down air. Oh, that's a pit right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would be so scared. I would be so scared to fight right there. Oh, yeah. the upper up air is going to do it, and Zidane a little bit of a bomb off, feeling yeah, good about himself, yeah. as as you should, King. Yeah, Southlord is back. 
<laughs> Back on the map, baby. I got to point out, Gaster almost hit the tech off the top of the tree. Yeah. He was like pixels away from being able to salvage that. But I feel like Zidane was ready with another up air in case. Yeah, I like that they got into the pit for, if not for just a moment. Yeah. Just to fight it out a little bit in there for the culture. That was a really good match. I love that uh, final game there. You know, game three, last stock, you know, final game, final stock, those types of situations. Oh, and yeah.